Hey, this is Ryan Johnson from D3 Technologies. In this video, I'm going to talk about Fusion 360 and working in the offline mode. You may have seen another video I did on the different offline and online modes, but we basically just covered the modes and how to activate them, but not what happens to the data that you save. So in this video, we're going to talk about what happens when you actually work and save data in offline mode. Keep in mind, Fusion is a cloud-connected tool, so all of the data that you create ultimately is going to live on servers in the cloud, but you don't have to constantly be connected to the cloud in order to use Fusion. Let's take a look at the differences between saving online and saving offline. So first, what I'm going to do with this file, notice we're on version 6, is make a quick change. We'll just thicken this plate by a quarter inch, and I'm going to hit save. You'll notice when you're online and you save, a new version will be created for each save. So we now have version 7. Now I'm going to switch to offline mode and make a couple more changes. So first I'm just going to use my press pull to lower this about half an inch. And I'm going to hit save. Watch, this will happen quick. And the local file has already been created. But our version did not jump this time. I'm going to do another change. And we'll just increase this, bump it out an eighth of an inch. And I'm going to do another save again. Quick save, no new version. So when I do decide to go ahead and reconnect, go back online, you'll notice that I only get a single new version despite the number of saves that I did while offline. Only the latest saved local cache is updated as a new version. So this is actually a good method to use if your versions are getting out of control and you want to save but not necessarily create another version. You can actually work offline and save as many times as you want over that local file, reconnecting to update your data for the day or whatever. I also have another quick trick. I want to go into my preferences. Notice there's an automatic recovery save time. You may have noticed if Fusion ever crashed on you that you had some recovery files to work with. Now sometimes I'm getting ready to do a huge intensive operation and just in case Fusion were to crash, I want to manually create an automatic save. It may have been four minutes since my last save and I've done a lot of other changes. It's pretty easy to do this. The regular save shortcut is Control and S. If you do a Control Shift S, you will save a local recovery file manually. So that's another good trick for saving your versioning. Instead of doing a, a save while working online even, you can manually create those recovery files as often as, you, as you'd like. And that way, if anything were to happen to the program causing it to crash, you're not going to lose any data. One other thing to look at in the preferences that I alluded to in the other video I did, the offline cache time period. So this is currently set to 60 days. You'll notice when you go offline, some files are unavailable. Those files have not been opened on the local machine in over 60 days, and that is why they're not available. So if you want to bump that up or down to manage the amount of data that is cached locally, in case of unplanned outages or server maintenance on the Autodesk side, you can definitely change that too. So hopefully that gave you a little bit more information on working in offline mode. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact the D3 team.